Hey guys, welcome to another Eurorack tutorial video. In this video, we're continuing our Roland System 500 series and we're doing the 505 this time, which is this module up here. So the 505 is a dual filter, dual VCA module and it's based on the filter of the Roland SH5 synthesizer from the 70s. So Roland have teamed up with uh, Maleko from Portland to create these modules, which are kind of bringing back that classic vintage sound, which is awesome to see. All right, so going on with the front panel, it's a really clever design in that you can treat both filters as completely independent or you can actually get two separate processed sounds going through both filters. So let me explain it more clearly. So at the top here, you have two separate inputs. So you can feed two different oscillators or two different uh, sound modules of any kind. Both of them get run through both filters. And then you have these switches here. So depending on which output you pick, you can select how, which signal path you want for each output separately. So for example, the switch here, you can go all filter one, all filter two, or a mix of both. And you have a switch equivalent switch for output two. So for example, I can have one output only giving me filter one, the other output only giving me filter two. Or I can have one output giving me the mix, the other one giving me filter two, and vice versa, any combination you want. So you can effectively treat it as a, uh, a dual filter module or two independent uh, single filter modules. So moving down from that input section, down here you have your standard cutoff frequency and resonance sliders for filter one and filter two. For filter one, like I said, it's multi-mode, so you have a switch to choose between low pass, band pass, and high pass. And then below here you have identical controls for modulation. So I'm just gonna explain one of them. And then the second one is effectively the same thing for filter two. So if we go the first slider here is your cutoff frequency slider and you have CV control over the frequency and a key input here. And you can control either the attenuation or the actual value if nothing is patched in. Next to that, we have resonance control. So unlike the filter of the 510, which we covered before, this one you can actually modulate resonance uh, with CV, which is kind of cool. And then finally you have your VCA level. So if nothing is patched in, by default, it'll be 12 volts. So you can use this as a standard kind of volume knob if you don't want to use the VCA with voltage control. Otherwise, you can patch in a signal here and then this becomes an attenuator. And then you can do classic VCA uh, sounds where you can just patch in an ADSR envelope generator or sequencer or whatever you want. And then finally, you have your output jack here. And like I said, over here is exact clone of what I just hit here, just for filter two. All right, so the simplest thing we can demo is running a sawtooth wave through the filter with nothing else patched in. The sawtooth is a very rich in harmonics, so we're gonna get the full flavor of the filter. So here's what the sawtooth sounds like without anything. Nice and chunky, we're getting that from the Z3000 here. And now I'm gonna patch that sawtooth into my first input here. All our knobs are down and our output, I'm gonna pick output one here, and then I have the switch here for output one, I'm gonna pick it to just use the first filter, so we're gonna keep it super clean. I'm gonna patch that in. We're not hearing anything, because the cutoff frequency is all the way down, and our VCA volume is all the way down. So I've set it to low pass filter. Let's bring up the cutoff frequency all the way up to keep it bright, and then bring our volume up till we get something sensible. Bring up the resonance to 50% and go to 100%. Bring back the resonance. Let's switch to bandpass. 50% resonance. 100% resonance. And finally, let's go to high pass. 50% resonance. 100%. So to demo the second filter, I don't have to unpatch anything because what's cool is that, like you remember, I can switch my output two to be filter two by switching this all the way to the right here. And now we're getting only the high pass filter from filter two here. So let's sweep that. 
Bring up the resonance. All the way up. You get these really, really angry kind of sounds, which are lovely. It's all about sweet spots, especially as you crank the resonance. It kind of reminds me of the, the sweet spots of the MS-20, where as you crank the resonance, you get these really vocal kind of growly. It's almost at the verge of like screaming at you. Like, look at that. That's crazy. All right, so that gives you a kind of a plain vanilla demo. So what I can do now is switch my thing or switch to mix. So to get both filters in one. So let's switch that. Now we can increase our low pass and the high pass. All right, so I've patched up a little sequencer here. I have a four channel sequencer at the top here. So I'm just gonna patch that into my cutoff frequency control here to control the first filter. So I've created a little patch where I'm feeding one oscillator through the first filter and then a separate oscillator from the 510 into the second filter and I'm mixing them down here. So if I unmute the first one, then I unmute the second one. And I can pan them separately. Create a stereo effect. All right, so so far we've been using the VCA just as a hand volume control here, but of course we can patch a CV control. So let's patch in an ADSR and see what that sounds like. So now we just have a full sustained sound. So I can make it more into a plucky sound. And then of course with the use of a stackable, I can patch this to control the cutoff frequency as well. And then patch this, continue it here. So we get that classic VCA, VCF being modulated by the envelope generator. Get those classic analog sounds. Bring this lower. We can switch to our band pass. a square wave. And we 
can slow it way down and increase the attack. Super bassy sounds. Actually, let's go with the sawtooth.
Alrighty, folks, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of the 505 general range. Again, same build quality as the rest. Top notch. Everything feels super sturdy. Love the character of the sound. It's got that really growly kind of raw uh, analog sound. So yeah, another great module to add to your arsenal if you just want to add that kind of growly bite to your arsenal. Again, two filters, two VCAs. Fairly compact, 16 HP, pretty decent module, impressed. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, share it with your grandmother, and I'll see you guys in the next one.